Today we're going to be breaking down a 45 kill solo trio Vondel win that I had, really giving you a bunch of tips throughout that will allow you to drop higher kill games. Now, I'm not saying that you're ever going to chase 40, I'm not saying you may ever chase 30, but my whole goal for today is give you a bunch of tips that will allow you to start to drop higher kill games, and then from there you can start to, you know, hit that 20 mark, hit that 30 mark, maybe even hit that 40 mark when it comes to pacing. Now, starting off right here, guys, when it comes to early game, this is my favorite drop spot. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's not. The biggest thing with your early game, guys, is you either need to get off to a good start kill-wise and kind of be in the action, or you need to find a way to get a quick loadout or get loadout guns and your perk package and then start rolling from there. We are going to get off to a pretty good start this game with a bunch of kills in this first circle. Now, I will be honest with you, we're going to die a few times throughout this game, which I think the bigger conversation is you can die and still drop your PR. Unfortunately, right here, guys, this is the one downside of the spot. This guy is cheating. He's inside the wall. You're going to see it in the kill cam. Not much that I can do. This is actually my first death right here. I do report him for cheating because he absolutely is. He's sitting inside the wall right here so i'm not you know trying to report him for nothing he's actually cheating but we are going to fly right back in the only thing that i need to pay attention to is i just need to stay away from that building now two kills thus far i still know there's plenty of people around here just need to kind of find a gun and get back in the action pacing for vondel this is important i want you to understand this and i talked about this a little bit in my video about how to drop a 20 kill game which is pacing is sort of backwards. So you're going to see throughout this, we dropped 19 in the first two circles. We dropped 23 in the second half of this game, third circle and on, which is backwards to what we're used to with Ashika and Rebirth and Fortune's Keep. Generally on those maps, just because of how small it is, you know, we can get a bunch of kills early and then kind of finish it off later on. Live ping, guys, really good tip for you. I live ping a ton. It's really easy to do, allows you to track enemies, especially with the dynamic fog. They backed off dynamic fog a little bit. They put out an update recently but it's still around. So live ping as much as possible. It's just going to be easier to track and track where enemies go. Real quick, by the way, if you are looking to get better, make sure you are subscribed down below. Like I said, guys, my whole goal is just to help you improve. Once again, you see the live ping as I'm shooting. Real quick, somebody asked me, how do I do this? I'm taking my thumb off the left stick. So I'm giving up strafing while shooting so that I can live ping and make sure that I'm tracking this guy. There is kill number four right here. Now, don't really see anybody else around. Notice that those guys are back behind me. So I'm just going to loot up for a second here. We've got the buy station to my right side. At this point, I am thinking guns and perk package. You know, guns first, then perk package. So 5,000 is what I need to get my guns. And then we get our perk package for 3,500. I will honestly tell you guys, this is a bot lobby. Not hiding it. This was late night, maybe one in the morning here. And I got it and I took advantage of it. Not hiding the fact that it's a bot lobby. My whole goal is to help you become more consistent in sweat lobbies and become a more consistent player so that when you do get the opportunity to be in a lobby like this, you can capitalize on it. Drop your PR, drop a 30, drop a 40, whatever it may be. So we're going to go ahead and notice this information right here, guys. Really quick, we're going to see this guy cross the street. Just a quick glimpse. These are the little things that you got to start to be aware of right here. Watch this little bit of movement right where my mouse is in the middle of the screen. See that little bit of movement? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to buy my uh, Lachman. I'm going to buy my ISO 45, hands down the meta SMG right now. And we're going to go ahead and push in here. A lot of people ask me, what is this melee right here? So why did I melee in the middle of the street? It actually resets my tax sprint. So notice my tax sprint resets there. I can go ahead and play a little bit quicker. Now look at the centering around corners, guys. Always ready for somebody. I heard a door open, just wasn't 100% sure where this guy was. So we're just going to clear. And this was the first time that I realized that I was in a very good lobby. I want you to remember this guy. This guy's actually a sweaty player. There's two things. We're going to trade back and forth. He's going to kill me a few times. I'm finally going to get the last laugh. But when I notice that his team is actually, like, he's last alive, I actually wipe that team. But a lot of times... I am going to leave teams alive. So right here, I get that kill. I wasn't quite aware that the guy, him, was as good as he was. So I do leave that last enemy alive. Why do we farm teams? We farm teams for kill opportunities. If I go ahead and I wipe that team, whoop did he do I just got three kills. If I leave them alive and the two guys fly back in right here... Now I get another kill, right? So there's kill number four potentially from this team. And because I leave them alive, yes, I trade with them a little bit. I probably pick up seven or eight kills, maybe even nine kills from that one team. Something you can start to do as you get better. Now, big thing right here, guys, is make sure you are checking the minimap after you get a kill. Pause. Hear me out. I'm not always talking about the team that you killed, right? Notice when I get this kill, we're going to see multiple pings show up. Here are the two pings on the minimap of the guys that I killed. I'm playing solo trios here. So one is dead. 
This is enemy number two. This is enemy number three. For some reason, though, I get this ping as well. So I know one's on my level to the right side. And I'm going to go ahead and check this guy down below to my left side. Big thing with dropping PRs, guys, is always pushing based on information. Your pace has to be there. Now, the pacing of a 10 versus 20 versus 30 versus 40, that's the big difference. But either way, we want to try to be pushing as much as possible. A lot of you guys get caught reacting to situations. And instead, here, we're going to go ahead and push. I do stick this guy. Bye. Thank you very much. We're going to take that kill. Notice last one's flying back, and immediately we notice this guy right here in Castle. So we're going to go ahead and work over this way. We have nine kills in the first circle. We're going on 10. Live ping right there. Can't quite get that kill, so we are going to push over, and we see enemy number two challenging. Now, as I push up top right here, I am going to get a little bit thirst hungry. That doesn't really make sense. I'm going to oversell for the thirst a little bit. Unfortunately, this guy is on top. Now, I do get away... But they have a cluster mine down, is what it is, guys. This is the start of our blender right here. So the crazy part is, is I dropped 45 kills and clutched the dub here. I probably could have pushed 50 had I not been in the blender for this next 45 seconds to a minute. I am going to be a little bit aggressive here. So I'm flying right back in on loadout. This is situation number two. Situation number one where I realized it was a kind of a bot lobby was when I killed him over in this building right here. And then the second guy like ran into the wall. This is number two. You're going to see me farm this second guy and I literally shoot him and I break him and he just is, I, he just runs away. Like that, that, I don't know if that's a real player or not. I have no idea. Point being is now we start to up the pace a little bit. I'm going to take advantage, kill potential. I don't want to wipe that team. That team's free kills, and I'm just going to keep killing them over and over again. Unfortunately, guys, as I push in, a little bit unfortunate here. I get caught with the melee. Sure enough, there's my buddy him. So him gets payback on me, and because of the dynamic resurgence timer, we're right back in. I, you know, hindsight being 2020, hindsight's always 2020. We dropped 45 here. I know I keep mentioning that, but again, just not a very smart play here. I get away with it, but not the brightest play that I've ever made. Just going and full sending that guy with a pistol. I don't love pistols to begin with. So we do get the ISO 45. I hear one down below. Now we're going to go ahead and challenge. And once again, here's my buddy him. Him does a really good job here, by the way. Great play by him to re-challenge this. Not a play a lot of you guys make. A lot of you run away. So I thought that's what was going to happen. He re-challenged. It made a really, really good play right there to kill me. So now we're kind of in this spot here 12 kills quick look at the lobby guys we got 51 enemies this is literally a whole entire ashika game like that's where the high kill games are coming from and we are going to be aggressive again like once again being aggressive just flying back in on my guns here here goes here goes him we do clutch up there our resurgence timer was not active so if i die right here this is game over no 45 kill game we are able to kill him right there yeah i that was uh, uncalled for i'll be honest i apologize guys that was uncalled for i'm actually going to do it again and i apologize because he was a good player and he's making a lot of good plays now i throw that down i don't feel guilty about that play right there but we are going to go ahead and grab the gas mask and we are going to grab our lockman 556 of course i want that and we grab our perk package here now what i didn't realize in the moment was i think i had my perk package originally i got a really good perk package i've got double time oh wait this actually is my perk package i got double time uh resupply and quick fix i really like quick fix a lot now i'm gonna play it up and then immediately re-engage when we talk about getting high kill games and pacing guys a lot of times it is about the re-engage we're able to get that guy very low health watch the hip fire before i ads here Notice the on ADS. Notice a little bit of tracking right there, especially in close quarters, guys. I can't miss this guy. He's literally, I'm, I'm barrel, barrel stuffing him. He's right in front of me. I'm not going to miss. And that's how I start to track enemies. Now, this is when I realize that this is the last guy. I need to get this guy, him, out of here. I need to wipe this team. One of two things is going to happen. Him starts killing other enemies and wiping teams, or him keeps killing me. And we keep going back and forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and get him out. I completely missed him in that corner. But once again, we're finally able to execute there. We're able to get him out. Again, a little bit uncalled for there. I apologize. 16 teams, only 16 kills. Guys, this is the backwards pacing of Vondel that I keep talking about. If you get off to a rough start, maybe you hit a little snag in the middle there. It is what it is. Don't, don't chalk your game because of that. A lot of you guys get frustrated. You get in the blender, but you don't need to. 
Re in reality, guys, third circle, fourth circle, healthy lobby, smaller circle, because it's more condensed. That's where we're going to start to drop our bangers. Now, right over here, guys, one cross in the street. Like I said, guys, I know this lobby's not good. I'm well aware. 17 kills right here. By the way, if you guys aren't, if you guys say you don't get these lobbies, you probably just don't recognize that you're in these lobbies. Or you're a mid-tier player in some of these lobbies. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to be honest here. Now, we're going to go challenge this guy right here once again. Just, you know, right in front of me, barrel stuff. And we keep moving. Right? There's, guys, there's no looting. A lot. Somebody asked me the other day on stream, like, how do you get so much cash? Loot bodies, not boxes. Right there. We're back up to 11K. We're just going to keep moving on to the next guy. And I'm taking in as much information as possible. I know there's a bunch of people across here. 19 kills. 15 other teams still alive. Unfortunately, cannot quite get this down. Still a little bit worried. I don't know where the, the building is that people glitch into. But I am a little bit worried about that. And I'm a little bit worried that I don't know where anybody is at this point. Down below, I'm... Pause real quick. I don't know what the deal is with fall damage. I might explore this a little bit further, but I don't take fall damage right here. And not only that, you'll see quick fix. Watch my base health right here. So this is a really dangerous spot to be. Here's the downside of fall damage. Right here, notice my base health is low. If somebody kind of third parties this or maybe his teammate is close by and he breaks me, I, my base health is not full, so I die very quickly. Quick fix obviously regens that very, very quickly, and we're back in. One above. I try to take zip. End up deciding, you know, hey, maybe that's not the best play, especially since I was kind of stuck with, um, I was stuck with uh, the trading guns and all that stuff. Quick little backpack management there, guys. Quick little tip for you. You can only automatically hold six plates, so we're just going to backpack manage a little bit, make sure that we are grabbing as many plates as possible. Don't want that to be a situation that causes us to slow down. Once again, you saw the melee there, and we're back on the rooftop here. Back on the rooftop, not 100% sure where anybody is, so just kind of floating around here, chasing audio, chasing compass pings, still trying to figure out where some people are. That guy's dead right there. Another one across here. That guy's dead right there as well. Hip fire and we keep moving, right? Hit fire, we keep moving, but what's the bigger thing that you notice right here? So there's a kill right there, down, thirsted. One to his, my left side, also notice there's enemy number two on that guy's team. There's enemy number three. Who is this guy? That's the third party. But more importantly, I catch that this guy's right in front of me, and I'm like, I'm in a pretty bad spot here. So we keep moving right next door. This is the finesse that you have on Vondel with these close quarters. And notice that I even go one more building over. I reload, and then remember what I said earlier, we re-engage. Right? Expect people to chase. Obviously, in these lobbies, they don't chase. But he is going to be right there. And we're going to go ahead, prox mine that just so that we're okay. I don't know why I had prox mines. I picked them up. But I end up, actually end up using them a decent amount. And we are going to get the thirst. Notice where we get the thirst from. I don't push. How many of you would push? Uh, how many of you would probably re-engage out this door right here? Right? Think about this for a second. Right? Instead of pushing around, you guys push up to this doorway, try to get the thirst. And you kind of expose yourself to enemy number two. Instead, I'm going to go. The pressure's on them to revive here. I use my cover. Even if this guy is sitting right here, he, he, he's not going to be able to down me. Now I am able to get that thirst right there. We get the information one on my level, and I'm watching this guy. I'm literally watching. Guys, after a kill, three things. How many enemies are alive? Where are they in relation to you? Where are they moving to? Where are they moving to being the most important? One enemy on my level. Notice he's pushing kind of in the building a little bit further. Probably taking the stairwell. Probably taking the stairwell, and then we confirm it just with a little bit of audio, right? So that's how we start to piece those things things together. Notice the centering at the top, making sure they're out. Guys, this is what this is where we start to center our crosshairs. I don't know that this guy's in here, but look at the the horizontal and vertical centering right there. Look at where that first shot is. This guy is broken right there. He has yet to even fire a single bullet that hit me. That is a mat. I've got 150 health advantage. So even though right here I miss a few shots, now we're even. Now we're even, and I hit the headshot because he drop shot it. So that's a little thing right there where you got to get that first shot. You got to hit high damage areas. You knock the ability to have the fast TTK out of the way early. If you think about it, having a fast TTK as one or two headshots, if we can get those out initially, we're going to be in a much better spot. 25 kills, guys. 38 people still alive. Holy healthy lobby right here. And I do hear some people floating around, just not 100% sure where. Fortunately, not really a great buy station to go to just yet to be able to get a, uh, a UAV. We do see these people flying over this way, and we are going to challenge. Now... Here's what I will say. Actually, let's go ahead and put, we'll we'll get to it when we get there because it's a little bit more forward. But we are gonna work our way over, and I just I actually dead slide there, and I need to get down. I know these people are straight in front of me. Now, one of the biggest things, guys, 
when you drop high kill games, your last circle, you're going to have to pick up a lot of kills. Now, what's the problem with that? Your margin for error is very, spawn, very small. Respawn has disabled. I've got 25. So I know about the spectator bug. Let's call it like 42 or something. I'm going to have to pick up 17 kills here without making a mistake, right? Without going down. So that's the tough part about dropping high kills on Vondel is on a Sheikah and Rebirth and Fortune's Keep, a lot of our high kill games, we started off hot and then the end game, we just kind of finished it off. But on this map right here, it's it's backwards. It's backwards because of how big the POIs are and how big the maps are. So right here, we are going to work our way up. Like, guys, I'm just going here. I've chalked 30s before. Like, I've lost 30s. I've lost kind of some high kill games and I just wanted to go, right? Let's play perfect. There, There's one right there. Notice the sniper straight across here probably two teams maybe around us not 100 percent sure where though notice the door open little thing right here guys we got one enemy right here we've got one enemy right here and you're gonna see this door open these are the little i'm in trios these are the little things that you got to start to pick up on now this right here guys i'm gonna pause this right about here when you are dropping high kill games especially as you get into 30s and 40s and maybe even 20s at some point you are just going to have to make a play you're just going to have to bail yourself out. I do it with a little parkour here. Little parkour, and we just outplay this guy. He goes down. We're going to get the thirst right there. We're going to push inside. We're going to plate up. Now, I don't have plates, so I'm going to use my smokes. Don't you... A lot of you guys are hesitant to use your smokes. Like, you have them. Use them. This is also why I love resupply so much. I did do a best perks video, or I am doing a best perks video on my second channel. Second channel is linked down in the comments below. Now, right here, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead. I hear shooting across. I'm trying to see what I can find. Don't really have a great angle, but let's go find one. Let's go find one. Let's figure out where some people are. You know, I'm not 100% sure where exactly they are. We heard shooting over this way. There's enemy number one. There's enemy number two. We kind of bailed ourselves out a little bit there. Just had to execute and hit shots. Biggest thing here, guys, is that first down. This first down is without any damage, right? So now I can be a little bit more aggressive with enemy number two. So right here, you're going to see if I can pause this perfect... There's our first down. I haven't taken damage. Now this is just a head-on 50-50. You got to find a way to win it. Got to find a way to win it. That's, again, find those little things. We obviously saw it a little bit earlier with that rooftop parkour. And right there, guys, ISO 45, we just win that gunfight. Let's go to push up top. We have... This is just wild. We I, I only have... An, I, I'm saying only 29, guys, but in the grand scheme of dropping 40 plus, like... We're still zooming here. We still got 30 plus people left that we can go ahead and challenge. Now we are going to go ahead and push across. Notice the spectator bug right there. I think when a team leaves that's spectating you, notice I have three spectators full team and they leave. So for some reason, it adds a kill. I don't know why. I hope they fix it soon. But so in reality, guys, it's somewhere at 40 plus. There's a down right there. Not quite able to get that thirst, which is unfortunate because it puts the pressure on me. Pressure's on me to execute now, and this is just a great jump spot. I just can't quite get the down here. As we push in, we hit the prox mine or the, the claymore, and we're just in a tough spot. Prox mine or a uh, cluster mine right there. No self revive, by the way. So I, I stopped. I slowed down for a second. Okay, let's breathe. Let's regain a little bit. Let's go ahead and get back in the action here. There's a kill right there, and we're at 31. People down below, let's go ahead and keep pushing here. Not 100% sure where. You look at circle pull. So we do have circle pull, right? Notice that circle pull is a little bit further to our left side, but we can keep playing on buildings. Again, quick pause here. What's one thing you notice? Haven't really talked about this too much, guys, but cash flow awareness, right? So not only the fact that I have a ton of cash flow, $33,000. How did I get that? Looting bodies, not boxes. That's a large majority of that cash. But also, let's go pop a big boy here. Watch the advanced UAV. You've got 18,000 endgame, guys. Biggest difference between Warzone 2 and Warzone 1. When we popped an advanced UAV in Warzone 1... By the way, I did hear this guy pushing, which is why I backed off. Heard this guy pushing right here, so I'm going to go ahead and get that kill. Now we pop this one. Biggest difference between Warzone 2 and Warzone 1, and I want to pull this back for a second, is advanced UAVs in Warzone 2 last 60 seconds because they stack. So it's UAV, UAV, UAV. In Warzone 1, they did not stack. They only lasted about 28 seconds. So in Warzone 2, it's a huge advantage. Now I want you to take note of this guy right here. Take note of this guy on my level. So Actually, if you pull it back here, pop first UAV, notice that one's on my level straight ahead. I hear that guy, but notice the second one on my level. Why is this important? Because when I pop this third UAV, I know this guy is on my level, whereas the other two are up above. 
Notice the other two are up above, and this guy who's straight in front of me is on my level. So I know when I lose the levels from the advanced, I know exactly where this guy is, which is how I know that I can play this aggressive and push. This is also how I know that the two are above me, and instead of pushing in this stairwell, we're going to go ahead and play the adjacent building. This is one of those where I am going to play the adjacent. I will say early on, guys, in one of my 10 tips videos or one of my Vondel tip videos, I did talk about... Uh, primarily playing adjacent rooftops. There's definitely a time and place for it, but if you saw throughout this game, I played underneath a lot of times, kind of pushing up the building and playing it that way. So there is a balance between the two. I don't think there's a clear-cut answer. Right here, guys, once again, hip fire, hip fire, hip fire. Didn't even think about ADSing there. But notice all the people around me, guys, were at 34 kills, still a lot of people left here. As I go to push across, I'm able to snag that down right there with the wipe. And he was shooting at somebody. Right? How many of you pick up on this? This guy was shoot. I don't know who this guy was shooting at. Or somebody was shooting at him. So I'm immediately going to go ahead and work over this way. Not 100% sure where, though. Notice the guy on the left side here that's clearly going to the buy station. Right? So we're going to go ahead and get that knock right there. There is down number. Notice the spectator bug right here. So there's like 36, but I didn't get the kill. There's 37. So that was actually the kill. And we're going to go ahead and fly across. Now, right here, the only thing that I'm concerned about is my back. It's the only thing. I don't have high alert, right? I've got quick fix. I'm only, I'm worried about my back, but based on the amount of fighting and where I see people, I think a lot of people are in front of me. So there's another one. There's 38. Enemy flying in above, so we go ahead and look up. There's kill number 39. Once again, guys, I know this lobby's not great. I've already mentioned it. I've already addressed it, but sometimes you just gotta find a way to win a gunfight. Straight 50-50 right here. Straight 1v1, zero cover. You gotta find a way to win it. We win that gunfight. We take him out thirst-wise. There's kill number 40. So we're going to go ahead and work our way up top here. So quick reload as we're pushing up. We know it's a 1v2v1 or two, a 1v1v2, whatever you want to call it here. So I know I'm, there's a duo left. I just don't know where they are. So we're going to keep playing up top. We might just have to wait out this circle here. Might just have to wait it out. But sure enough, there's one down below. Can't quite get that, unfortunately. When that goes into gas, it completely disables. The other ones don't. So these buy stations you can use in gas. The de uh, the deployable ones or whatever you cannot. Right here, guy down below me. Now we're in a 1v2 situation. There's kill number 42. I do get the spectator bug again right here, which is going to give me 43. And then we're going to get the last two for 45. And by the way, I absolutely love this ending. So we get the knock right there, right? So notice the spectator bug, guys. There was 43. 44 is technically down. But I want you to watch how I finish this. Perfectly hip firing before I ADS. Really tracking well in close quarters. We jump through the window. We perfectly center our crosshairs. And guys, just like that, that's the new PR. 45, my first ever 40 bomb. Obviously, it's a little bit different with more people. But first ever 40 bomb in a Warzone game. 38 on Ashika, 38 on Rebirth. I don't know what it was on Fortune's Keep, but this is the first time I broke 40. So super excited. Hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today. And I will see you tomorrow.